Hi, this is a second video on relative motion um, dealing particularly with closest distance. Um, it's aimed at AQA Mechanics 3, um, but it, it would be useful to anybody who's interested in relative motion. Now, um, if you haven't watched the first video, then I suggest you go back and do that. Um, what we're going to do this time is we're going to have a look at a second example, so a slightly different example this time. So. We've got two ships A and B that are 20 kilometers apart with B due north of A. Ship A is traveling at 10 kilometers per hour in the direction of 60 degrees and sh um, ship B is traveling at 8 kilometers per hour um, in the direction of 135 degrees. So these are bearings um, and we need to first of all find the speed and direction of the velocity of ship A relative to B. Second of all, we're going to find the time to the nearest minute taken for ship A to be exactly east of ship B. And then finally, um, we're going to try and find the nearest distance between the two ships. OK, so to start with, um, we're going to draw a um, diagram that represents this situation. So um, we've got two ships, A and B, 20 kilometers apart. Um, we can draw on the velocity of b and we can draw on the velocity of a and it's going to look like that so this here is a bearing of 135 degrees which means it will make 45 degrees um, with this line here um, and this here has got a bearing of 60 degrees okay um, we're now going to in order to find the speed and direction um, of the velocity of ship a relative to b we're going to draw a um, velocity triangle. So to do this um, we're just going to start with a line so that we've got a reference point and we're going to start by um, marking our velocity of A um, which is um, 60 degrees from this line. Now from the same point I'm going to draw my velocity of B and that's going to look like that there. So this now has an angle of 75 degrees between them. So we now want the um, uh, velocity of ship A relative to B. So remember that's going to be um, the velocity of A take away the velocity of B. So we want to draw our um, uh, new velocity line starting from this point here so the head of this point and go into the head of this point over here so it's going to look like this and just as a double check this is going to be to get from here to here will be the negative of velocity b and the positive of velocity a and that will give us the velocity of a relative to b okay so um, now we've got this far we've got our diagram what we now want to do is we want to work out what using this diagram what the speed and direction of these are going to be okay so I'm going to start by finding the um, the speed which will be the magnitude of VAB so um, right so um, I'm, I'm going to do this quite quickly so ho hopefully you can follow I'm going to use cosine rule to find this so that's going to tell me that this here, um, the velocity of a b um, squared, is going to be equal to. Um, so using the cosine rule, it's going to be um, b squared plus c squared, which is a hundred plus sixty-four, which is a hundred and sixty-four. Take away two b c, which is going to be um, two times ten times eight, which is a hundred and sixty. Um, and that's cos 75 times cos A, which is cos 75. Right, okay, so that there is going to be, um, let's just clear that. So we've got 164 take away 160 cos 75. And that gives us 122 point five eight nine um, and then I'm going to square root this to give us um, the relative the magnitude of the, of the velocity so that tells us that it's going to be 11.07 so um, that's 
going to be 11.07 um, kilometers per hour. Right, okay. Um, we're now going to um, work out what our bearing is. So I'm going to start by working out this angle here, which I'm going to call theta. So angle theta is going to be um, using our sine rule this time. I can do the, the sine of theta divided by 10 is going to be equal to the sine of 75 divided by um, this here which is 11.07 okay so um, so can say that sine theta is going to be equal to 10 sine 75 divided by 11.07 um, so theta is equal to grab the calculator again so we'll use that answer so we've got 10 sine 75 um, um, divide that by 11.07 which is our stored answer and that gives us that there um, so to work out theta I'm just going to remember sign that and that tells us that theta is going to be equal to 60.7 degrees so there we've got 60.7 degrees okay so that's that whole angle here now to work out the bearing um, what I'm going to need to what I'm gonna have to do is I want a parallel line to this here Stretch that along. okay so if that's 45 degrees there that tells me that's going to be 45 degrees so this angle here which is going to be my bearing because that's the north so this angle is actually going to give me my bearing I need to do this take away 45 degrees so my um, bearing is going to be equal to 60.7 take away 45 um, which is actually going to be equal to 15.7 15.7 degrees okay right so I now know this speed here um, is going to be 11.07 kilometers per hour and I know the bearing is 15.7 degrees so I'm just going to tidy all this up a little bit right okay so our information that we need from part A is here um, and I've drawn it onto the diagram over here as well now um, for part B um, we need to find the time to the nearest minute um, taken for ship A to be exactly east of ship B. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to go back to a distance diagram. So we're going to start by drawing. Um, oops, just a second. Okay, we're going to start by drawing our um, point A and B at 20 kilometers apart. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the information that we had from before. So this is our angle of 15.7 degrees and our um, this our sorry um, speed of 11.07 kilometers per hour. Um, I'm now going to draw a line that's exactly east of ship B, um, which is that line there. So what we're looking for here is um, because we want the time to the nearest minute for ship A to be exactly east of ship B. We're trying to find, first of all, um, how far um, A will have traveled r relative to B. So um, in this right angle triangle, we know the adjacent side and we know the angle. And we're trying to find the distance here. So this is a distance diagram. We're trying to find the distance here of the hypotenuse. So um, using trigonometry, we can say that we've got, um, if I call this x, we can say that x is going to be equal to, it's going to be um, our adjacent side, which is 20, and it's going to be divided by 
a cosine of 15.7. Okay, so um, using my calculator, I can work that out, and we've got um, 20 divided by the cosine of 15.7. And that tells me we're going to have 20.78. So that's going to be 20.78 kilometers. Now, um, in order to work out the time that it takes, so that's how far it's traveled, and it's traveled that at a speed of 11.07 kilometers per hour. So, in order to work out the time, um, I'm going to um, do that number there, so the distance travelled divided by the speed, which is 11.07. And that tells me that we've got a time of 1.87 um, 6 hours. So to change that into minutes, I'm going to times it by 60. And that tells me that I've got a time to the nearest minute I want it. So this to the nearest minute is going to be 113 minutes. 113 minutes. Okay, so that's part B. We now know the time to the nearest minute um, taken for ship A to be exactly, exactly east of ship B. So I'm just going to tidy this up. Okay, for this final part now, we want to find the nearest distance between the two ships. Okay, so um, to find when they are closest together, what I need to do is I need to draw a perpendicular line from our um, relative velocity to our point B. So at this particular point here, um, A and B are going to be closest together because as for B, as the observer, a is going to be at its closest um, point. So, um, in order to work this out now, we've got a different right angle triangle where AB is now the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Um, the angle is 15.7 degrees, and I'm trying to find this distance here now because I want the nearest distance, this distance here now, which is um, going to be our opposite side. So, um, using trig. I can say that this distance here, I'm going to call this distance y, so um, we can say that y is going to be equal to our hypotenuse 20 times by the sine of 15.7 degrees. So I can pop that into my calculator and I've got 20 times the sine of 15.7 and that tells me this is going to be 5.41 so that tells me y is going to be 5.41 kilometers so that will be the point where um, a and b sorry that's going to be the nearest distance a and B are to each other throughout this journey. Um, and I'll just put that over here and we can see that it's 5.41 kilometers. Okay, um, I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks for watching. Take care.